yeah, it was, uh, you know, definitely a different change up from when I first got to Houston, kind of had a, a more business-like approach with the coaches. So when Coach Browse and his new staff came in, it was kind of a total overhaul just as far as the feeling around the complex and out of practice. So he was definitely a player's coach. Uh, it was a more upbeat practice, up-tempo, not a lot, you know, no conditioning afterwards and things like that. But uh, the biggest thing was just the the amount of relaxation, I guess, that was there throughout the players. So we were able to be relaxed and just go out and have fun and execute practice. Never felt like we were at practice. It was a time we all got to go out and get better. So, you know, that type of style and that approach, you know, they were in the weight room with us, lifting with us after practice, being around us, just having that bond. I think is one of the biggest things in building their relationships uh, with the guys, and that's something they, you know, they brought to the table that changed it up. And obviously, we saw you know immediate success went from five and seven to seven and five, and got a chance to go to a bowl game my senior year. So, you know, we saw the result of that, and it just it just made for a better environment. I mean, the offensive line for us, I think everybody, you know, obviously we throw the ball around, and we we spread it out and do it, but one of the number one things we've got to be able to do is run the football. I mean, having the success of rushing for over 3,000 yards last year. Um, it's something that we've got to be physical at up front. Uh, so it's, you know, not only are we going to spread it out, throw it around, we've got to protect and keep our quarterback upright, which is a, is a big thing for me. But we also have to be physical, um, you know, move the line of scrimmage and come downhill. So when we're looking for offensive linemen, we're looking for guys that are flexible, can bend, love the game of football, you know, love contact, want to be, you know, great leaders and, and very coachable, but we've got to have guys that love the physicality part of being an offensive lineman. If you're not physical for us, then it's going to be tough for you to find the field. So guys that are that are smart, guys that are athletic, but also love the, the physical part of it in that aspect. You know, I kind of always wanted uh, to, to get into the teaching, coaching part of it, so I decided to go through the uh, sports administration side. Uh, I really enjoyed that degree. I graduated with that degree in sports administration, a minor in health. So. You know, that part of it, you got to touch on a little bit of everything. The, the business side of sports, uh, you see in the facilities, how you know, the maintenance, the, to running uh, game day operations, to the trainer aspect of things, uh, to, as well as like the human anatomy side of it. The, and that part, the exercise science, a little dabble in that. So seeing that and, and getting a taste of it all, it, you know, it, I think it kind of makes you a well-rounded person. You see the ins and outs of everything. So. Uh, definitely you know, enjoyed that degree. Probably wish I would have started my master's program in that same degree, but uh, you know, I think uh, coming from that angle, it's definitely beneficial in, in the coaching part of things. Yeah, I mean, I, I came out of a small town, high school, played offensive tackle, uh, ended up going to Butler and playing tight end. So I made the transition to, to playing tight end, obviously more of a blocking tight end, but you know, learning the technique, I feel like as long as uh, you, you learn technique and and execute your fundamentals every single day, you, you have a chance to play with anybody. So, you know, getting to, to experience that part of it out at the tight end position w was big for me, you know, changing it up and doing that. And then coaching at the junior college ranks, I mean, the one thing that you have to be there and, and be really good at is, is executing your fundamentals and techniques. We played with Kansas offensive linemen, guys that necessarily weren't as athletic, as big, or as strong as the defensive linemen we saw every day, but but we, we worked at technique and worked at the fundamentals to make sure that we could hold our own versus any, any kind of front. Um, you know, the recruiting aspect there at, in the junior colleges, it's, you know, it's a tough deal. There's always, you're going to have big time guys and everything, but having the relationship with the coaches and, and guys like that, it, it gives me a chance to really, you know, see the, to know the good and the bad side of each player that we're recruiting out of there. So I can really get some, some honest opinions and, you know, they're going to help me and know what we're looking for and, and that type of stuff. So it's, it's still a tough business to, to recruit junior college and finding the right guys, but having, having relationships with the coaches and knowing that I'm going to get, they're going to help me, you know, and, and biggest thing is giving me the, the, the correct information, uh, you know, in, anytime I need it. Well, the first thing we always are, are doing when we get out there is we're checking their grades. Uh, you know, there's got to be guys that academically are going to qualify, but at the same time, you know, if it comes down to two guys and one's got a 2-2 GPA and one has a 2-9, we're going to go with the guy that's got the 2-9. So we're always looking for that if they're even at, uh, athletically. Uh, but we're finding guys, we want to find guys that love to compete, uh, love the game of football, um, and, and obviously have the athletic skill set that we're looking for. But I think there's a little bit more of a mental side of things that we really 
focus in on, and we're just trying to find guys that just love to compete and uh, being coachable and high character kids. So that way, when when they leave the football part of things, we know that they're going to be, you know, good citizens and good students when they when they're uh, across campus, and we're not going to have problems in the community with them as well.